May 12th. Clearly, I have not like gotten little... myself together yet with my lights. And there's just, I don't know. That's I, okay. The attic is daunting. I have to like gear up to go there. I saw a thing um, yesterday. It was a clip of, I don't know. I can't remember his name. He's a comedian from Germany and he like plays up his he's like the i'm a i'm a foreigner from germany kind of side of it you know yeah, yeah. for his humor and uh he was on a episode of conan o'brien and it was a clip from the show and he was talking about um how he thinks americans are crazy because we decorate so early and he's like you wouldn't if someone invited you to a birthday party you wouldn't show up three weeks early and just start hanging out at their house <laughs> you know you're an uninvited guest at that point like stop doing that you know? <laughs> so it reminded me when you said social media clip and german this is so funny i i don't even know the guy's name because it's german so like i can't pronounce it or spell it but i ran across this and i sent it to a friend and Maybe I'll just put it, his reel on my story for people that are watching this, but it's so funny. He He's a German person that explains German words to everyone else. Mm -hmm. Mostly his audience is American. But he says, mm -hmm. in Germany, we don't have a, a phrase or a sentiment for for the phrase, I don't care. We don't have that in Germany. Instead, what we have in Germany is this is irrelevant to me <laughs> like just cut to the chase <laughs> like, i need to learn how to say that you know say that phrase <laughs> in german this is irrelevant to me that's funny i thought I that was absolutely hilarious I, thought, I don't know if it's the same person but i saw someone who does the same that sort of thing and he was doing one where it was uh, like when people have been at your house for too long and you're just done, you know, you're like, it's, where, and it's, a, it's a German phrase where oh. you can just say, well, I've, I've been very well visited oh. and that's like, that's well done. Cute. Thank you for coming. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done now. Thank you. It's bedtime. Yes. It's just, well, I've been well visited and it, it puts it back like, good job. Thank you. You know, you get the good job. Thank you for coming. I appreciate yeah. it in a phrase that everyone knows it's over it's over now <laughs> yeah and it's accepted as like a good thing okay we've done our job oh, yeah know, so it's, it's not rude it's not rude or anything yeah. it's just like okay oh. it's, it, we're done now yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> like, that was good that's kind of that's nicer word. i mean it seems a little more gentle and nicer than saying all right i'm going to bed now lock the door when you leave <laughs> yeah as we're talking about this i'm thinking i wonder if like people just became more more aware of that feeling of staying too long and that's why americans don't tend to visit in houses anymore so much i feel like that was very common when i was little to but have go to someone's house, house visitors to just, oh to just to go to someone's house to have someone come to your house and hmm. I don't know, like somewhere in between like the madness of college and young parenthood and being abroad, like coming back, it feels like that happens much less now. I think, I think maybe that's true. I think when our kids were really little and we had other friends with young children, we would mm -hmm. go to each other's house because it was easier to just corral all the kids, let everybody play together while the grown ups right. hung out or, or like we would play a card game or a board game and have an adult beverage and all the kids could play. And you know what I mean? Yeah. I I've I I want to do like a sort of an open open house policy thing like on a certain night every week where it's just like people just random people show know, up. Yeah, like Thursday night at, at 6 p.m. just bring some food or something and just bring, whoever yeah. comes is here yeah, and everyone go home at chips. 9. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll Six just like nine. everybody have social time. And if you can't come, we're not going to hunt you down. We'll miss you, but you know, and I it's know. the thing cool. that intrigues me. The thing that intrigues me about that is 
like having it be purely open door to anyone who wants to come and have it be like all the the people from all the weird angles of your life to just like come (laughs) yeah and meet you know See, because you might have people that you've met and become friends with in a, I don't know, from the dentist office or something, but then you might have people from knitting group, or you might have people from a different aspect, you know, and then you uh, husband's associates or kids, you know, yeah, different angles, and then they'd show up and it it would be interesting. Yeah, I think it would be, I think it would, I think it'd be fun to watch. Like, I want to bring everyone together and just like stand against the wall and watch what happens. But what if they're all standing against the wall too, waiting for <laughs> to make the first move? <laughs> you almost got to have like they're game night. People. You have to have an activity. Yeah. People can, you know, have game night. Even <laughs> if it's something simple, like yeah. Uno, where people can just pop in and pop out, it's fine. Right. Yeah. You right. can, you can play one yeah. hand in Uno and then drop anyway. out. Somebody else can take your seat. There you go. Or poker. Yeah, I've I'm much better at Uno than I am at poker. That's for sure. Well, are we I all? Be, if I, was <laughs> poker, I would be thinking Yahtzee. Like, okay, if this was these were Yahtzee dice, what would I put back in shape again? <laughs> yeah, and you wouldn't have to not money, not poker for money, like poker for yeah. you know when the kids were little, we used Party to play poker or. with uh, goldfish. Mm. But then, do you want to eat live one? Nobody else has has touched. I mean, it almost needs to be individually wrapped candies. You don't know if people yeah. wash their hands. Big, big chocolate bars. Big, like, so oh. you start, you start with like the uh, the little fun size Snickers that are just the bite size ones, and then you have like the two bite ones, and oh. then you have the big ones, oh. and then you have like the mega pack. Oh, and it's just a a whole economy of Snickers. I'd be on board for that. I I know where you live. Yeah. Thursdays at six. You oh stay. gosh, that's scary. <laughs> I'd be flying across the country for Thursday game night. <laughs> she shows up with two big old bags of Snickers. She's like, "Let's Maddie. do this." <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have one bag of Snickers and one bag of knitting. I'm ready. Yeah, let's do this. You got to play board this. games. You know, you have to play board games that you can knit when it's not your turn yeah that's a whole well, that and that makes hard games hard because you're you know you want to well, make holders you know, holder. like you can go get the scrabble tray mm-hmm. and use that and stand them up okay right okay. i'm picking up what you're laying down and Let's scrabble Scra- scrabble is a good one because you know all your little mm-hmm. tiles are there you don't have to like hold yeah the they're right there yeah yeah absolutely and they usually travel. it takes people a long time so you can get several rows in by the time it's your turn again especially if you right. play my husband oh my word <laughs> i'm serious after a while he's like oh dude the jeopardy theme song starts playing in your head and you're like come on. <laughs> we're gonna have to buy one of those timers But then I'm yeah. like, oh, I'll just knit another row. It's okay. It's okay. It's all fine. So, I have my so, knitting. Yeah. What else? I do think you- that so often in my life. It's okay. I have my knitting. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So if people have comments about what board games are good for being able to knit when it's not your or turn. Or what your currency. What currency would oh. you do for a non, a non-economic yet also hygienic poker currency what would you use any individual i'm I'm interested in like jolly ranchers yeah you know anything but jolly ranchers they're all just one size right like they're all just a size so unless but then you could have like the green ones or the pink ones or they could have different value the old school ones that came in bars remember that oh right yeah you can still get those Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Or maybe it's just the amount, but not everybody likes Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Especially if you have dental work, you can pull it out. And some people are all you about can cash the- it back <laughs> into money. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Some people are all about the savory snacks too. So it's still, you, you know. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to eat any of this. So I would need pepperoni slices and cheddar jerky. cheese. Packages of jerky for Anne. Packages of jerky, sugar-free jerky. <laughs> deviled eggs. We could do them with deviled eggs. Oh, or just hard-boiled <laughs> like, eggs. Just hard-boiled eggs. Them. Yeah. Just hard, but yeah, not peeled. Yeah, I'll make my own deviled eggs when I go home with all my winnings. <laughs> oh my gosh, board games are great. I'm excited about when my kids come home and just that's what I do enjoy most about the holidays is just puzzles and board games when everyone's home. Yeah. Did you know you could get puzzle advents? I think you told us about that either last year or the year before. But yeah, if- I got another one. Yeah. But this tell year us for again, one of my kids. We have new viewers. Yeah. So it's just, it's an advent that every certain number of pieces for the puzzle. And so, and it's like they break it up. So, like day one, you get the first top corner. Okay. Day 25, you get the bottom last corner. So you're making the oh. puzzle. Does it go in order? As you go. Yeah. Yeah. You should mix it so, up. Well, I mean, that would make it more interesting, but also like day one, you might not have any pieces you could actually put together, you know? Except for those four or five. Yeah. You know, if you had, well, this is the, so the one, I think last year's puzzle was like 750 pieces. This year's over a thousand. Wow. So it's a proper big puzzle. And uh, it's a C, it's one of the promotion posters for Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, is. there you go. Yeah. That's so cool. that one's that one's really cool. The one before, I I kind of feel like they're a new concept because I sort of just had the thought last year. I wonder if anyone's doing this. Mm-hmm. And when I searched, all I saw were like traditional Christmas images. So the one oh. I ended up getting was um like a fireplace with a cu- cushy chair and a Christmas tree, and there were kitties around, you know. Yeah. That was fine. That was fine. But this year, when I looked, there were all kinds of different ones. Like okay. More people have gotten on board with this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was uh, for a fan of animation. So I got that one. It's just interesting to see it. You know, every it's so funny, though, because I think the first day it was just black. Because it's the it's night, you know, yeah. in the pictures. You know, it was just in the like upper corner, sure. 25 <laughs> black pieces that they had to put together. <laughs> so that was fun. <sighs> Nice. Anyway, it's growing on on our, we always, in our dining room, we always, we use it so rarely that we always have a puzzle going. And so there's that one's building on one end of the table, but I was like, but I can't do that one. That's not my advent. So I started another one on the other end. So well, you're going to have to get that cleaned up before Thursday game night. I'm just saying. I know G- going forward, I'm going to have a week to get my puzzles done. Unless I get one of those puzzle boards where you can like fold it all over and yeah, what did I see? I saw a long time ago. I saw some furniture builder was making like a dining room table that had the drawers where somehow you could fold the table leaf back and then the drawer thing with the puzzle would come up. But then when you wanted to eat, you could put it down and fold it back. I don't know how it engineered, but I thought that's brilliant. And the and the puzzle one had like the green felt, you know, like a pool table or a yeah yeah yeah. I want that. I saw one the other day where it was like, it looked like leaves, table leaves that you lifted up and just set aside. And then it was concealing. They called it a gaming table. So you could have, because some of these tabletop games, if you are not into like the hardcore tabletop game scene, some of these take your entire table because you have little figures and you have like, cards that have to be laid out and like all of this kind of stuff so this is for like the hardcore gamers and that so you could have all that and then there was like a a little like tray little tray things where you could like clip it in like to a groove your side for your piece or things so you and then you would have like there was a place you could clip on around where people could roll the die so it wasn't rolling on the game i'm waiting like, for all this drink stuff. holder yeah hey woo. <laughs> there may have been some of that too i don't know i just was watching it was like yeah wow, i think some of that's that brilliant that- it's brilliant oh. i have cats i mean that's great yeah like we can't we started playing my daughter and i started playing chess with an app 
like old uh-huh. school chess because we would play right we have a nice chess board with wooden pieces and all that but we couldn't keep the maniacs from you know yeah. and you put a rook under the living room chair or something and i'm like well <laughs> we we at first our idea was we had to take a picture of the board when we went to bed so we could mm-hmm. put the pieces back after the goblin took them and now we just play online because it got to be a hassle but if you yeah. had a thing like that you could somehow tuck it all away and i you know protected well, what we did for a while was just get a plastic tub, turn it over, and put it over the chessboard. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because I mean, the chessboard is We had a big that. Rubbermaid tub on the top of our dining room table. <laughs> you do what you got to do. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So I'm. We are always. We always get a new game each year for the holidays. So this year's new game is called Hughes and hues and cues like h-u-e like like colors yes the color of a hue h-u-e hues and cues like c-u-e like i'm gonna give you a cue or a hint you think it'd be clue with an l but it's not it's hues and cues because you know they wanted it to each be three let four letters yeah yeah it's super interesting when you look at the board, it looks like the wall at the paint thing in the hardware store because it's like all the shades of everything of all across the spectrum of all the colors. Uh-huh. So the premise of the game is that as the if it's my turn, I pick a card and on the card there's four colors and the board is set up like okay. a, the board set up like a grid. So you would have like, you know, the letters and you have like J23 and, you know, you right you see what i mean whatever color that is i can't say the color i have to give you hints so that you can place your piece on the board where you think the color is i'm talking about okay so like one time we had one where the my daughter was giving the clues and this was a good one she said mouthwash okay so you would put your piece whatever color you think is mouthwash Mm-hmm. And then you, there's a there's a square like a cardboard square that you put down where the color that it really is is right in the center and the people that get closest to it get points. Uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. And so each person that when it's your turn, you have two pieces. Well, so if I said mouthwash, you would have two pieces. You could put down your first one. And then my second clue would be, like, I can't say darker mouthwash. I have to come up with a different, something different for my second clue. So you have two chances. Everyone else has two chances. If I give good clues and more people are inside the rack that I put down, then I get more points too, because I have described it well. Nice. That's good for building, like, color sense and but lighting like that. matters. Like that would be a good thing for those who are interested in doing color work mm-hmm. lighting matters because i'm saying oh i'm sure yeah i'm sure it yeah. would because the lighting it always the card, does look fun. where you're sitting the lighting on the card might be slightly different than if someone else is sitting yeah. at the table in front of a window and they have sunlight on the board right right close the curtains and play at night just saying <laughs> anyway that the playing was, field for... that's, that's this year's new game so if anybody else nice. has game suggestions drop them below and we're always up for yeah games well and because you saying that reminded me that we do the same thing and i totally spaced it this year i have not bought a new game yet for us you have to leave the house i'm gonna have to leave the house or not necessarily i can order <laughs> that online there's time i need to get a pajamas still Everyone gets new pajamas on Christmas Eve and I need to get a board game, a new game for the family. So, so did, what new game do you, did you have a new one last year that you remember? Yeah, but I don't remember now. So sometimes they hit and sometimes they don't. And as I'm also thinking about this, I'm like, I really should just bought, there's probably like four or five games I could just take to Goodwill and someone could find 
yeah. and for their families yeah. that yeah they just didn't hit well for us that's okay so Sometimes. yeah that's fine someone else will have the benefit of them for their christmas or their holiday oh, whatever or just for I fun for one. their thursday night over open house that's right i saw one on i think it was a facebook ad and it's called magnetic chess I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what it is basically. And basically you have a, like a shoestring or a, a, some kind of string, a cord that makes a circle and everybody has yeah, their been seeing, pieces. Seeing have you seen this? Yeah. And you have yeah, to, they're advertising pretty hard right now. I think it'd be fun and it's simple and hilarious. Yeah. 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 So you have, you were saying, I'm sorry, I cut no, you fine. off. It's okay. Yeah. You, you have to put the, you got to put your yeah. piece in there far enough away where the other magnetic pieces don't go shump because if right. you go, then yeah but obviously there's only so many pieces you can do that with you got you get your distance right yeah but it has to be inside mm -hmm. the yeah. but it still has to be inside yeah we are easily entertained um, speaking of magnets speaking of magnets i saw a brilliant thing yesterday for those of you who maybe are sewists or you want to, you're, you know, you're designing patterns or cutting out patterns and you need to make sure that you're leaving enough for the seam allowance as you're cutting oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. And this person had taken, there's little, like little, maybe half inch, maybe, maybe half a centimeter, five millimeter, large flat disc magnets. Oh. that are very thin and so you figure out what your seam allowance needs to be and you put a stack of those that are as wide as your seam allowance needs to be on the blade of your scissors on the side blade of your scissors oh so you're making your own jig yeah so it pokes out far enough so as you're cutting out you keep the edge of that lined up with the edge of the oh. pattern as you cut that's smart. I was like that's genius and I immediately went to Amazon and bought some of those child you better not be watching for one of my kids who's into fashion and doing design work and stuff like that and I was like I don't know they might already know about it but it's probably the kind of thing where you lose those periodically oh, yeah yeah so those yeah. are gonna go in a stock it's finals week they're not watching they're not what well, they better not. I don't know. Cause one of them sent me a message this morning and I was like, were you listening to me when we were recording or did you watch the recording? Or is this from a conversation we had like a month ago? Or are you, cause they referred to something that we talked about yesterday. And I was like, is this just a weird coincidence? Like what, what's happening here? Are you watching these? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part about Christmas is just having everyone home, you know? Yeah. And mashed potatoes and hot chocolate. And mini candy canes. I love those mini candy canes. I don't care about the big the ones. I like the teeny ones. That's the perfect amount, too, to add to a hot cocoa. Yes. It's one of those mini. That's the perfect amount to dingle, like little, put it in and like use your spoon and yes. listen to it tinkle, tinkle around in the cup. And it yeah. makes me really happy. My kids well you know we live far away from town we didn't have any of the hot cocoa like instant whatever just add water and milk we didn't have any of that but do you know do you know that on the hershey's cocoa baking the hershey's oh, yeah. baking, it tells you how to make hot chocolate on the on the label yeah. the well people didn't know that yeah. because you know people buy the instant stuff and stir it up so my oh, kids okay. started doing that from scratch from the and then they would we had some you know and the candy cane and it was deluxe yeah no it's ready really whip, good when you, that, make you know own. ready whip that's what i couldn't think of yeah um <laughs> so you knew one thing i i've been making that i like that was one of the things when we were super broke if newly wed people that i made a bunch of hot chocolate little things to give to people for christmas and that was like a christmas gift thing one year um, but since that. just in the last few years, I found out that, and it may be something that came out a long time ago, but because we were abroad, we didn't know about it. Yeah. But you can baking, not baking powder, the cocoa powder. If you get Dutch processed, it's just processed differently. 
They don't add anything to it. I forget how it's different now. I looked it up at the time because I was like, what is this stuff? Hmm. But it's naturally less bitter. Oh, okay. So what what you make from it, it's even more like deluxe. Delish. I love it. That's what now that's what I use for our hot cocoa because I make a blend. It, I mean, for me, it's even better because I'm not adding sweetener to it. My hot chocolate is very weird for people because I don't add any sugar to it at all. It is, it's the, the sweetness of it comes from cream instead of from added sugar, right. but the Dutch process makes that even better. So good. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So Are we up. ready for stripes? Yeah, show me your stripes. Okay. Day 11, knitted stripe. See? It's kind of dark. Ooh. By the way, I go by, I know that I'm on track because this olive one right here is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay. And then we, right. have, okay. we have our neutral. Day 12 color. Yep. What's the color going to be? I love your still smile. You put it on I, the wrong side. <laughs> Look at it. Is it purple? Yes. Oh, it's like a pinky purple. I'm so happy. That's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, if we're going to have like five or six days of purple, Jana's going to be over the moon. I know. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I'm happy about that. Good, good. It's kind of okay, like this. Me, I'm getting like this purple. It is. Okay. Nice. Okay. I have my colors prepped here so I can okay. hold them all up when I'm done because this is the last day of Easter. Ooh. So we have the little snake eating its tail, yep. a little bit of Scandinavian Celtic artwork, uh, mythology yeah. stuff going on. Okay. Opening, opening, opening. Okay. The color of this one is. Besaki, Besaki. Oh, Besaki. It's a very dark chocolatey brown. Nice. Oh, that's going to look me. fantastic with those others. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Okay. Can I hold all six colors at one time? I'm, I'm sure you can. That is lovely. So those are the colors. Nice. Bottom, this bottom on this side is the new one. Top. The, okay, top right, that is looking more accurate than it was yesterday. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, That's wonderful. Yeah. So, a couple of people were taking pictures of the spring ones. They waited and did all the Uradale spring colors together. So, if you are one of those people, if you could do the spring Easter ooh. Yeah. And share that with me or put it put it in your thing and tag me. That would be great and I'll share it with the other people yeah if you're on instagram do at i thought i knew how yep and then hashtag shb 2023 shb 2023 there we go yay yay okay then tomorrow is a new tomorrow. tomorrow's a new yarn producer for you it is i nice. don't Oh, I do know. Cause I do. Yeah. Cause we're at the middle and I know who I do remember who the middle person is. Okay. Do you the, want to get the, a preview or are you just going to make us wait till tomorrow? No, you can wait till tomorrow. Okay. Just wait till tomorrow. Okay. Control yourself. If I'm wrong, I'm going to look really silly. I mean, people know who the <laughs> makers are. There's only three left. Okay. I'm okay. pretty sure I know who it is, but it's, you well, know. Well, we'll talk about that tomorrow and we'll see how the purple we'll is talk about it tomorrow. tomorrow too. Okay. Yes. And I'm betting there's going to be another purple one too after. So I hope so. I hope so. More purple. We're Stay in Jana land that. now. I know. Jana land. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.